the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and this franchise it was a missed opportunity I know and the main reason is because Leatherface is such a creepy killer and this franchise didn't use him as it should be also Sally is an amazing final girl and this franchise didn't use her as it should be so this franchise is like a kind of like a hit or miss we have nine films to go through this ranking so stay with me and this video might be kind of controversial and you will know why so stay with me and just grab a drink grab a snack and just welcome back to another video here in this channel Royal Horror and let's start with the worst or my least favorite installment of this franchise and that will be Leatherface the third installment from this franchise from 1990 now this movie is the least memorable movie of all the whole franchise I personally have watched this twice and I think the last time I watched this was like 10 years ago I tried to give this movie another chance but I just felt bored in the first part of the movie. I do respect how Leatherface looks in this movie, I think it looks kind of creepy. It's supposed to be a third installment but they just forget about the sequel or like the first, like the original and I don't know, I just, I would revisit it but I would prefer to watch the upcoming movies instead of Leatherface. Now coming up the 8th place on this ranking will be Texas Chainsaw 3D from 2013. Now this movie, this movie made me so angry and now for me this movie has like the worst cast out of the whole franchise. Like not any single character is rememberable, especially like the main girl, like I just didn't like her and it's such a shame because she's such a good actress but that character was so annoying and so pointless like even the timeline didn't make sense because she's supposed to be like in her 40s in this movie and she looks like she's in her early 20s and the kills are so forgettable especially because of the 3d effect coming up the seven place and this is where the controversy starts and that will be the sequel Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 from 1982 now I understand why this movie is loved by the horror community, don't get me wrong. I like this movie. I think from here and the top one, I would rewatch this movies like any day. And this movie, yes, it is funny. This movie, yes, is like it's, it's a comedy, comedy horror. But if you know me, you know that I'm not a big fan of comedy horror. I'm sorry. And especially this being the sequel from 1982, like after the original, there were not movies between why did this movie decided to be so comedic and not as dark as creepy as the original if that makes sense i have to say that i loved the characters because obviously we have characters from the original i love the final girl i think she's such a good final girl leatherface he doesn't look good Leatherface looks like a joke and i just don't like that because the leatherface from the original is so creepy and i love him sixth film in this ranking and this might be controversial is the return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation from 1995. Now this movie is silly, this movie is corny, this movie is cheesy, this movie knows what it's doing and I think that's why I like that. I think this movie, even though it's not, to be, it's not supposed to be as funny, I think this movie is very entertaining. I love the characters, I love like the final girl, I love the chase scene even though it lasts for like a hundred times hour. And Leatherface, even though some people think he looks like a joke, I think this movie has one of the Leatherface that really feels himself, if that makes sense. Coming at the fifth place will be Leatherface from 2017. Now this movie, I know why this movie has received so much hate. I watched this movie twice. I don't remember it too much, but I do remember that on my second watch I gave it more than on the first watch. I remember hating this movie the first time that I watched it. and. One of the good things about this film is the gore, I think this is so great, especially in the last act. I also like the characters, obviously this movie is a prequel of like the whole franchise and they explain Leatherface early years and I think they worked, I love the reveal. I didn't mind the Leatherface because at the end of the day it's a prequel. I didn't appreciate how this movie treats mental patients because it's such a shame with movies meant to make sure mental patients are evil when in reality we know they're just normal people like anybody else and i just would have preferred this movie to be cut up 
and without like talking about the mental patients I think that was not needed at all now coming into the fourth place we have the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2022 now I already gave my full thoughts on this movie so I'm not going to talk too much about it and now the last three places from this franchise and obviously you know which films are left and maybe you will know which film is my favorite out of this franchise but coming on the third place and that will be the remake from 2003 now this movie is just it's beautiful one of the best remakes ever made and this movie is so gorgeous the cast is beautiful Leatherface is amazing and even though the actor is rubbish and I loved just the character Leatherface is amazing I love how sinister he looks I love the acting from everyone obviously Jessica Biel icon is on this movie and she's the final girl and she's a badass like, and even though the kills are not impressive even though some kills are even off screen I just love them I love the whole family that this is how a remake should be made and now the last two places out of this whole ranking now I hope people don't hate me for in for the second place but the second place will be the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974 now this movie five out of stars this movie is a masterpiece this movie is so beautiful this movie is gorgeous this movie this movie is the reason why slashers are made Leatherface is so creepy so many scenes are so creepy especially when he's chasing Sally especially if you see photos from this movie in black and white they look so terrifying and I love that this movie is scary in my opinion because you really feel tense the soundtrack the cinematography one of the best horror movies ever made in history and now you will know by now which is my number one and that will be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning from 2006 now I'm biased so maybe that's why this movie is in the first place but the reason why this movie is in the first place is because I grew with this movie and this movie scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. I think this movie has the best leather face in the whole franchise. I think this movie has the best kills in the whole franchise. The, like one of the best cast and everyone is so gorgeous again. If you have watched the video of movie that define me, you will know why this movie is included there. I will always defend this movie. It's very underrated because it has received so and so much unnecessary hate. But for me, it will always, always be iconic and one of the best slashers ever made. So yeah, that was my ranking. I hope you like this ranking. I don't know if it was controversial. If it was not, this franchise is kind of a mess. But like I said on my ranking, um, some movies are like memorable. Some movies are not. So I really hope you like this. Just remember, this is my own ranking. If you have a different ranking, let me know in the comment section below. So have a beautiful week, have a beautiful end of the day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.